celebrate this festive season with RR Anandabhavan Sweets and Snacks. ET Holidays Da, South India's number one travel brand. Arisa shirts and trousers. Hello and welcome to Kalata Plus. In this video review episode, we are going to be talking about Anand Dekashi's Atom. The film is a superb emotional procedural about truth and lies and the grey shades in between. The film stars Vinay Fort, Zareen Shahab and Kala Bhavan Shahjan and it is a thrilling dialogue heavy drama that reminds you of Asghar Farhadi's work. Now that's the short review. The detailed review follows. It may have spoilers. So do watch at your own discretion. The story begins in an unfinished building. The architect is told that she is slow but she replies that the family can move in by Christmas. She quickly takes her leave and gets into a van filled with men and then we realize that apart from being an architect, she is also an actor or put differently, she has two faces. Another actor is also a chef. Another actor is also a plumber. They all have two faces so to speak and the play they are in is also about faces. It is Girish Karnad's Hayavadana. The director Anand Ekarshi takes a bit of time to get to the actual play and this passage which is beautifully written and beautifully edited by Mahesh Bhuvanand, it gives us a glimpse of the people involved. Someone says a purse is missing. An actor says he is going to declare his love for the sole female actor in the group the architect. We see a selfie being taken. The rows outside fill up with the audience. The play is well received and a couple of impressed foreigners invite the group to their posh hotel. By this time, the key players of our term, now look at the title which implies both meanings of play. It is also two-faced. Now the key players have been identified. Vinay Fort and Zarin Shahaba lovers named Vinay and Anjali. They have been with this theatre group for a long time and yet the lead role is being played by a newcomer, a small time film actor named Hari and he is played by Kalaba and Shahjan. This makes Vinay insecure. Hari couldn't care less and during a night of drunken revelry at the hotel, all hell breaks loose. Later we learn that there might have been an act of sexual molestation. Many people have a motive and we find ourselves in the midst of a psychological whodunit. We could also call this film an emotional procedural, a gradual unraveling of the true nature of the people behind the faces they wear in public. To add to the confusion, Hari, who is now a suspect, brings in the offer to take the play to various foreign countries like England, like Finland, like Norway. The prospect is irresistible to these ordinary men with very ordinary jobs. Even the actor whose other face is that of a newspaper editor is tempted. His job sounds powerful but the power it brings is nothing compared to the power wielded by his wife who is a high ranking whip cracking government official. She earns far more than he does and he practically salivates at the prospect of this European tour. It is possibly the rare time his hobby of acting has resulted in something monetarily gained as opposed to just being an artistic satisfaction. Another actor has health issues, he needs those euros. And the question arises, will these people be self-centered and do what is right for them or will they do what is right by their conscience? In other words, the drama on stage is nothing compared to the one happening off stage. Atam is a chamber play that is deliberately theatrical and it reminded me of films like 12 Angry Men and some passages from Sanal Kumar Sashidran's work but most of all the director's breathless approach appears to owe a debt to Asghar Farhadi. The escalating cascades of dialogue form the events and the characters expose themselves through speech. As with Farhadi, each conversation becomes a set piece of its own and we learn new information that takes us to the next conversation, the next set piece, the next confrontation, the next revelation. It helps that the music by Basil CJ is minimal. There are maybe three or four stretches in the entire film where we hear a background score. The dialogue is its own music. Atom is a fantastic debut. It probes the grey space between truth and lies. Cinematographer Anirudh Anish's floating camera gives the sense of being a jittery observer and we become an invisible participant as the screenplay touches important topics like judging a woman who drinks or gaslighting. Look out for the part about tactile hallucination and the journalist at the beginning who asks the playwright why there is only one woman in his play. The performances are perfect and so is the ending. Is the mystery solved? It doesn't matter. The off stage becomes on stage after the all too real drama that rambles all over the place and inevitably so, the precise and abstract finish becomes the best kind of closure. We see that art is perhaps the only way to obtain the catharsis, the justice, 
that real life cannot provide. Real life verdicts need proof. With art, all you need is anger, talent and imagination. And that's it about art. If you like this video review, do subscribe to Galata Plus and see you soon at the movies. Celebrate this festival season with Adiyar, Anandabhav and Sweets and Snacks. ET Holidays Da, South India's number one travel brand. Arisa. Arisa, shirts and trousers.